Good morning, everyone. This is Frank Ochoa with your MTS update, along with Kathy and Jack. Kathy is actually going to be on vacation this week from Monday through Thursday. She'll be back Friday, and um, and I believe we should have Jack up right after me as well. Since she will be on vacation, I'll take a little bit more of an expanded role here for some of the analysis, including the NQ and some other things. And um, and I'll try to pick up the slack here with, with Kathy out. Obviously, Kathy provides a lot of great flow and content and trades. So we'll all do our best here to, to kind of fill the void as she's out. And uh, right now, the ES is uh, got the overnight high, 97 half. That's a new all-time high. Right now, we just pegged it and are currently sitting right at that level. Um, we have an overnight low at 1790 quarter. And right now, 1790 is basically the early pivot. Uh, I think breaking that level to the downside will will open a little bit of, of weakness up. Uh, but right now, overall, it's it's more the same. The ES remains bullish. Uh, what we've seen here recently is is price, you know, having highs early in the day, and then from there seeing a flush down uh, back toward lows. So obviously, we have the big 1800 above, and uh, and we have some upside targets to to watch out for. On a monthly basis, I had 1801 quarter as the primary upside target for the month. The extended target for the month I have is 1822.75. So there's still some some good upside here potentially to the upside, but we you know we got to be able to pull back and hold some support levels. And right now, just looking at a, a bigger chart here, you can see 1775 had been resistance. Uh, 1770 held. So that was the zone that was offering resistance. We broke above that zone confidently uh, middle of last week and just pushed higher. And we're currently sitting at the highest highs of, of that push through that zone. I think if we pull back into the zone for a retest and, and successfully hold it, that could be another opportunity to, to buy into weakness for another round of big time strength. But uh, for right now, got to watch to see how price responds around these 1800s and, and any break below 1790 will likely indicate uh, a further push into uh, 89 and 8475. So right now I have key upside targets at 1803 today and 1807 quarter, and both of those are day targets. On the downside, there's 89 and 8475 um, with an extended at 80 half. So those are the, the day targets for the ES. We'll see how it builds out. I'm going to use 1790 as my early pivot. For the NQ, the NQ has has seen uh, you know the same type of strength. 3400 has been a big level, obviously that had been resistance. Uh, 3400, 3360 had been support for a while. We got below it and we broke back above it, pushed through 3400s, and we're now holding at highs here. Uh, 3422 is the early pivot right now. Uh, you know we got to see what happens here. And again, you know the the NQ has been the one. A lot of times where we start off with an early push, it gets really squirrely to begin the day, shaking out a lot of uh, positions on both sides, but really trying to push to, to highs and then from there falling um, sharply at times to begin the day. So watch out for that. If price pushes be beyond that 3422 and can't really hold those zones, we could see a flush back toward 3400, which at this time would be a, a pretty solid 20-point move. I think as long as price remains above 3390, 3400, the thing is, is geared overall bullish. If we break below 3390s, then I think we see a retest at 3360. For the NQ right now, on a day target basis, um, the primary upside target for today is 3875. 3875, the primary downside would be 9394, rather. 3394. And uh, if we get down below that zone, then we have 8475. So those are some early levels to look at, 3400 and 3422. Get an early breakout from that zone. It'll give us an early directional bias. For crude oil, we're just now seeing the spark right now. Obviously, it's it's you know five minutes into RTH. We got a push up, but before that, it had been very quiet. The range from 9320 to 9365, very, very tight. We're getting a push be up to the upside of that range, but we have major resistance above, 9450 was a very tough level to break above late last week and that's going to be a level there to, to test above and then if we if we get above that 9450 then we have big time resistance between 9540 and 9520 
that's the biggest overall level right there. And if you look at it from a higher time frame, I mean, the, these levels up here, 95.40 has, is, is solid. And another rejection at that level will easily pave the way for another round of new lows. And I've had 89.92 on the radar as the primary downside target for the month. And I think we could still reach that target, especially if another rejection occurs at 95.40 or if we can't even get to that level. So short term, I think there's resistance at 94.50. That's the first zone to watch for a potential sell. If it breaks beyond that level, then I think you'll see 95.20 to 95.40 on a retest. And then 96 is still a major swing pivot. On the downside, obviously 92.50 to 93 has been a major source of support. And 93 has been a pivot all year long. If you look at a, you know, a daily chart or a weekly chart, Throughout the year in 2013, 93 has been the big time pivot in that zone. Right now, it's been holding that support the last two weeks. And uh, until we can confidently hold below that level, I think we're in a range between basically 93 and 95.40. I think that's our range. Obviously, it's been the range for two weeks. And until we get a breakout from that range, you're likely going to see more range movement. So for the upside right now, I have targets at 94.02 which we're very close to, that's the short term target. 94.40 is the primary for the day with 94.78 being uh, a full range target. On the downside, uh, I have targets at 93.08 and 92.69. So we'll see how these play out the rest of the day. There's your update. I'll let Jack know that he's up. Good luck the rest of the day and the rest of the week. Let's make it a good one.